Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. Last time we went back to the Awakening Wood, became friends with the Blue Pikmin once again, and cleared out some more area. We got plenty of exploration to do above ground, and then we're gonna hit up one of the final two caves of the Awakening Wood today. So let's go ahead and get started. We have a lot to do, and not a ton of time. We're basically going to be pushing the end day Pikmin hours to the max. We're going to try to get as much done as possible in that period of time. And then once we're done, we will move along. So first things first, I'm going to try to grow our purple, nope, our yellow and our blue Pikmin today. The blue Pikmin were gracious enough to clear up the ground butthole for us last time. Very kind of them. Thank you, Blue Pikmin. And this opens up the area for a treasure. Try to get this last time. Do not have the time to do it. So instead, here it is. I only want to give them exact change here. I need the remaining yellow Pikmin to follow me into this crevasse and to start going at this gate. Because we are immune to electricity now, you can just throw yourself at it as well and That'll be all she wrote. I'm gonna switch to Louie here, because I hate the sound of them smashing the gate. And we're going to get out the purple Pikmin. Today's episode is all about growth and murder. So, we're gonna do that. This is a good chance to raise your blues, to raise your yellows. It's a very easy circumstance to, to manage here. So we're gonna do that. We'll use the bull orbs here as fodder for the other Pikmin. And I'm actually curious, when you send your yellows and your blues and your reds and they pick up something, pause, treasure, pause for treasure, okay. This is the chance total, yes. So when you send your blues, yellows, and reds to pick up a an enemy that you've murdered, the, they'll go right to that onion, right? I don't necessarily know exactly what is the exact method to the madness for purples and whites. I don't know how it's calculated, what they do. But apparently that giant bull orb is going to the blues. We do need quite a few blues because of what we're gonna be doing here in a moment. But first thing, we gotta clear out this area. You don't have to do this. This is not required, but I just thought that it would be good to, if you could just, I'm gonna need you to quit. All right. So, clearing out this area, you don't have to go this way, but I like going this way. Now that we have that bridge that was built for us in a previous episode. You can have the purples carry this back as a squad. I don't, yeah, and like, see, it goes blue, it goes yellow. I don't know how they decide which way they want it to go, but that feels like a pretty even split. Maybe it's based on the amount of Pikmin that you have available in each onion. So if there's like, a higher amount of a certain color, they go for whatever needs the most help. I don't know. I could not tell you. But that is the most that I'm gonna do with that right now. I actually don't need any more of my yellows currently, so I'm gonna put those back. I wanna make space for the blues. We're gonna wanna have a good robust amount of blues for the goal up ahead. The area to the cavern we're going to be exploring today is behind that electrical gate by itself. That's all the all the challenges that you have there. Stop it. So we don't need any more help. However, what we will want to have more help on is clearing up the space for the next exploration to the final dungeon, which will be another time. I haven't quite decided yet if I want to do that right away or if I want to make that... Um, an additional episode in the future. I mean, obviously I'm gonna 100% the game to the best of my abilities, but I don't know if it's going to be sequential or not. So you will have to wait and see. The tension is mounting, I know. But go ahead and get out a bunch of your blues. You don't really need to do it this way. I just like to do overkill because it's just fun for me. We've got some enemies to kill back this way. And a very slow squad of blue Pikmin, so I'm gonna try to boop, 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 boop them to victory. Okay. And this area too, um, I almost forgot. I need something else as well. All right, so the yellow Pikmin are done. Very good. Nope, nope, that is not the way to me. To me, please. Great, okay, so that's where the cave is that we'll be going in a little bit. 
is not the way I wanted to go. <laughs> and now we are stuck down here. Okay, that's fine. So we'll walk past the Oblivion hellscape that is that area. This is fine. I'm just casually wasting a lot of time. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Actually, what I could do, I have a lot of it, but if you're if you're in need, you can always um, you can always destroy the mold the moldy ground ball sacks and get plenty of that stuff if, if you're interested. You don't have to. It's up to you. But what I forgot to grab, actually, once these yellows can finally do their jobs, is you're gonna need some white Pikmin as well. You're gonna want to have reds, whites, yellows, and purples for the cave, but the above ground stuff is just kind of a a cocktail of of Pikmin, which I guess that is too. So nope, stop it. See, it does it it does it automatically when I don't want it to, but whenever I need it to, it's like, well, no, D Mike, I'm gonna do whatever I want because I'm a game. All right, so yellows are back, and I will grab the white Pikmin for Louie, because I forgot to do that. What's nice about white Pikmin is they are speedy boys. Yes, look at this. I love it. They are going to be helping on a secondary quest here in a second. We're all trying to just open up more of the world, which will be happening right now. So going this way, What's very convenient is getting this done now, so that way in a future day you don't have to worry about it. So past you will, or future you will be very happy about past you. So we'll watch out for this Wally Wog, let him stomp the ground, and then just hammer. Just get him hammered. Not gonna be able to handle how a, how mighty we are. Okay. So you can let your blue Pikmin carry that corpse back if you're interested. Sometimes that Wally Wog will also produce a pellet, but unfortunately not this time. This area is a little weird. There is a treasure that's up here, but we're not gonna be able to get that today because this little island, the way that it's programmed, the game really, really, really does not want you to be able to make progress on this island to get that treasure unless you have already cleared out the area to the right past the poison bridge. It just won't let you do it. Your Pikmin will just endlessly cycle on here. So there is the Wally Wog that's in the water. You can take it out. It's probably a good thing to do if you're afraid of losing your Pikmin. But for all intents and purposes, you don't need to do that currently. Also, there's the, <laughs> the really good spazzing animation. I enjoy that. So now we can send Olimar in with the whites and take down the poison bridge. It is tempting to put to take out the Wally Wog too. But what you'll wind up doing is getting in the way of the white Pikmin. When this bridge is built, the bridge itself is actually not poisonous. There's poison spouts underneath it. So having your white Pikmin hack away at this, take down the poison spouts, get the bridge cleared up is good. The, I feel like the Wally Wong should get poisoned and die, but it doesn't. So we're just going to very carefully tuck past it. Going to hide over here just for a moment. And I'll, I guess I can show it off. Um, yeah, it's very strange that the... Oh, I didn't do the poison spouts. Okay, so we'll have to be very careful. Very, very careful here. You can lure the Wally Wog back. I think it's unfair, though, that an enemy like the Wally Wog doesn't get hampered by the poison in any in any way, like we do. If our Pikmin touch poison, they're dead. But if he touches poison, well, I guess it's not a big deal. Ooh, that was a horrible death sound. But watch this. They're going to try to take it towards the poison. Right? Yeah. So that's what they'll do really annoying. You don't want them to do that, obviously, because it, you know, kills your Pikmin. So instead, you are only going to really be able to clear up this area, get the poison spouts knocked down. Because I'll show you. I guess I can just tell you. I don't need to show it. Um, the treasure that I would like to grab is up there. Unfortunately, until you clear up more of this area. There's another bridge on the other other side, which we'll do on our next above ground day exploration. Um, if you're not careful, there is a burrowing snagret, which I think we fought before. I don't know if we fought it in this game. We fought one in, uh, in Pikmin 3. I know that for certain. It's really annoying. And, you know, you, there's a good chance you'll lose your Pikmin, so... If you, if you don't fight it correctly, like a pro, like I would, of course, but anyway. All right. So we don't actually need any more blue Pikmin today. We'll put them back. It's pretty good. We've got most of the day taken care of. 
We're gonna want to have, of course, our white Pikmin. There's some poison in the uh, in the cave we're about to do. So we'll have, spread it out like this. We'll do 25 yellows. No, we'll do 20 yellows. I guess 35, yeah, we'll do 25 yellows. 20 yellows, I cannot talk. Viewers, I'm fine. What's wrong with D-Mike, is he okay? I'm doing fine, viewers, thank you. Thank you for considering me and my health. All right, that gives us the full hundo. Except for the slacking yellows. So we've got a little bit of time. Um, there are, where is it? No, I don't need to kill those. There is some nectar grass over here. Let's go ahead and have your Pikmin kind of dig at that and see if you can't flower them up before you go in the cavern. This cavern's a little bit tough and it's also kind of long, so I'm going to try to get it done as quickly as possible. Come on, there you go. Ooh, there you go. Three big old globs. Beautiful. As much as I hated the sound of that Wallywog dying, I really enjoyed the sound of them getting the nectar going. That nice big old kiss. This let's play is like a big old kiss to you viewers. It's beautiful. Okay, now this is the tricky part. Um, getting your Pikmin up on the ledge to actually go into the cavern with you. I found that it's honestly easier in most cases just to try to throw them up here as best as you can and then try to collect them when you go on the other side. For whatever reason, it's really, it can get really tricky trying to get them to go up the bridge. They just don't want to do it because they're dummies. So, if you could, nope. All right, well, the purples are probably gonna have to go up another way then. So here you go, that actually splits things up pretty well. Use your uh, C stick or D pad or whatever you have, whatever controller you have. No, nope. purples. Guys, whoa, whoa. This is what I'm talking about. You just wanna make sure that you have enough time to do this. So hug the wall, wait till everybody is intact and they should be able to follow along the pathway to the cavern. And here we go. The reds in the background are like, oh, what am I doing? All right, so we've reached higher ground. Congratulations, congratulations are in order. So yes, there's apparently something down below. Viewers, what could it be? Ooh. Are we scared, viewers? That's a pretty good, <laughs> these, these red, and this red and this white are just having a, having a go, okay. So here you go, Bull Black's Kingdom, enter this hole with your Pikmin squad. You don't necessarily need your white and your purple Pikmin, but obviously it makes it easy. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it. The Bull Black's Kingdom, let's go! Okay, viewers, sub-level one, the Bull Black's Kingdom. I bet you'll never guess what's in here. If you guessed full borbs, you are correct. So I think this one has five or six floors. Um, this one's a little bit trickier. There are red candy pop buds. There are options for other things if you need it, but we don't because we brought all of our stuff ahead of time. Your purple Pikmin are going to be pretty useful in this cave. Just trust me on this one. Also, the music is kind of cool. Feels very regal. The kingdom of the bull blacks. So there's a giant bull borb right there. The orange bull borbs are pretty scary. Um, they are very aggressive and will try to kill your Pikmin. So we're going to try to clear this out as quickly as we can. They're sleeping, thankfully, which is good. So you should be able to just stun them and kill them before they kill your Pikmin, which is very good. You don't need to carry them back if you want to. It's fine. I don't think there's any treasure. This music kind of sounds like Super Nintendo Fire Emblem music. For any of you that have played that, on my old channel, I did a Let's Play that eons ago, which I never finished because, well, sometimes in life, things are just best left undone. All right. Whoop. All right. And call everybody back. Call everybody back. No, no, stop. Oh, he ate one of my purples. You, oh, you jerk. All right. Oh, you're dead now. You're stuck and you're dead. You're dead. There we go. And there's a treasure underneath it. Unfortunately, losing a purple is annoying. I don't know if there's a purple candy pop bud in this dungeon at all. It might just be the one treasure here. I don't know how much is 
in this area, but yeah, you don't have to carry back any of the um, any of the enemies that you kill. You don't have to do that, but if you want to speed up the process, let's go. I got stuff to do, guys. Let's go. You see how much faster that is with teamwork? I hate losing purples, though, unfortunately. If you ever need purples, though, you can always go back to the purple flower garden. So our first treasure of the cavern is the crystal clover, worth quite a bit. Okay. Floor one, treasure one, donezo. Floor two, here we go. Okay, floor two, welcome. Welcome to floor two. Sounds kind of like something from a uh, portal. All right, so first things first, we have these really annoying spider guys, if you remember these from before. I don't think you can... Oh no, you can kill them, okay, never mind. I wasn't sure if you could or not. But first, organize your Pikmin, get your reds here first. This is why I brought a few of them. Actually, the largest amount of my Pikmin squad. There's no role. I don't always necessarily understand the composition that I choose of my, uh, of my goings ons but you know, it is... There's some science behind it, I don't know. Or maybe it's an art form. You'll just have to believe me, viewers. All right, so send your reds there. Get your purples. You can crush the speeder. Or not. You have to like land directly on it, maybe? There you go, dies pretty fast. All right, so far so good. And then up here, this looks like a treasure that is going to be grabbed by the yellows. Make sure you have some that can get all up there for you. Another gemmy gem. Okay. And we are just going to camp out here by the exit. No, stop it. I said camp out by... I said stop it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> We're gonna have to go back and get these guys at the entrance anyway. Okay, treasure number two, floor number two, almost done. This is the tear stone, the heart of the ocean. My heart will go on. Does anybody remember that movie? It was a pretty titanic film. All right, moving on, here we go. Gather up the squad, the whole squad, and to floor three we go. We are making excellent time. I want to say that this... I think this dungeon has like seven floors on it. It's pretty long. So that's why I wanted to make some some quick work here. All right, so we have a really annoying enemy here from before. I think there's a white in there. That's fine. Um, this is a variation on the puffy blowhog. I think this is called a withering blowhog. It's like the variant of it, which is really annoying. It does the same thing as uh, the Puppy Blowhog. Guys, <laughs> focus here. It does the same thing as the Puppy Blowhog. I think it's like a weaker variant of it. But for some reason, we are not doing a very good job of killing. Come on. Oh, come on. Get to the murdering. Oh, no. See, this is what happens when you, when you, when you don't murder enough. You lose your flowers. Come on, guys. There you go. All right. So that thing is dead. This is another good reason why you should bring reds with you. In this case, you can convert them into whites. So a white candy pop bud is here. I don't know if there is if there's a purple candy pop bud anywhere around, but having more white Pikmin is always good. Anytime you can get the uncommon Pikmin, because remember, you're only going to be getting purples, you're only going to be getting whites if you go into caves. It's the only way to get them. Oop. <laughs> the only way to give myself absolute confusion what I'm trying to do. Alright, so here's two more Puffy Blowhog, or Weathering Blowhogs. Trying to deflower all of my Pikmin like a bunch of jerks. I don't know if you... I think you can probably do it with... Oh, well that's annoying. <laughs> There go all my big one. So all those wonderful flowers that I worked so hard to get. I like that when they die, they kind of turn into um, like balloons. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Adding in more of the white Pikmin, I'm assuming, is for right here. I always think that whenever you hear the white Pikmin trying to dig something out of the ground, it's always like, let me at him, let me at him. I'm gonna get him. 
And remember the rules, once you dig up something with your white Pikmin, the moment it is visible on screen, even just a little PXL, you can collect your treasure. They can help dig it up. Okay. This, my friends. The Allimar All Night Show. Wow, that was a really, uh, that was a struggle. We're doing good, okay. Squad goals, we have achieved 50% clearance here. We're doing really well. And floor four, here we go. Okay, floor four, we are roughly halfway there. Oh, we're half, oh, there is a purple thing, good, okay. So this is a chance to get more purples. Once our yellows, oh, there's two purple candy pop buds. Ooh, this is why you bring your reds because you can swap them out in time. I mean, you can swap out any color, but reds are obviously the ones that we have the most, the most plentiful amount. So I don't feel quite as bad. Oh, bye reds. Welcome to your new future. Okay, wonderful. So we'll grab. 10 more purples, started with 24, and now we will leave with, well, we started with 25. Now we will leave with 34 purples, very good. 34 purples, 30 whites. All right, let's see where we're going here. I have no clue, nope. Wait, is there, wait. Although the treasure was ding dong more back this way. There is a nectar goblin here. I am doing a very poor job at hitting. I need my yellows to grab it. There we go. And you can do the same thing here. If you got your yellows, send them at the Nectar Goblin. This takes one. And uh, yeah, get that sweet, sweet juice. Oh yeah, that feels good. Flower up your Pikmin that the stupid blowhogs un unflowered us. Pretty rude. All right, so we're making good progress here. All right, looks like we got some more electric bugs. Electric traps. Make sure you're only sending the right color Pikmin out there. You don't want to make a mistake. It's convenient though that it did spread my yellows in the direction I needed them to for once, game. Thank you. So we're gonna go ahead and take these guys out before they wreak havoc on us. Remember the electro bugs from the the kitchen. I forget what it's called. And knocking them out, all I have to do is knock them over one time, and your Pikmin will dog pile and take them out. So there's three right here, which is really annoying, and we just missed killing it. Very inconvenient. Oh, you're dead now. Oh yeah. There we go. All right, now where is the treasure? I hear the treasure. Is it back here? I don't see anything. Game, where's my treasure at? Oh, there's a glint beetle. I think this guy, if you throw a Pikmin on top of it, it will, uh, well, I don't have any Pikmin to throw. I think I need white Pikmin. Let's see. If there's anything hidden, usually the white Pikmin will find it. Is it in here? What? My radar was like bing bonging real hard. Maybe it's behind this. I don't know. All right, anyway, ignore that. We got stuff to do. It's fine. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a variant of the Wally Wog. Spooky Wally Wog. Oh, we stunned him. Oh, he's got the treasure. Okay. A little sneaky snake there, game. Okay. You guys can carry that back for me. That's fine. We've already killed everything in this area. Got more. Oop. Nope. I cannot see what I'm doing. It's one of the things that gets a little annoying about these caverns is that the, the pathways are a little bit tight. Right, I just want yellows. There we go. And we can, oh, there's a purple in there. There's a purple in there. All right, we got a cool looking coin. It's an old Japanese coin, the unknown merit. Very good, all right. So we've got the electro beetles here. Get them. 
purple in there. <laughs> Purple's just like, I just want to help. I'm just trying to help, guys. Actually, probably did speed up the process here. I don't think I need to do... Oh, there is... I think there might be one more treasure back here. You don't have any friends now. I think the addition of the purple will hopefully speed up that process. Okay, great. All right, so that's done. I think we killed everything, which is great. Okay, everybody still... Is the treasure in the glint beetle? <laughs> I think it might actually be. Um, yes, it is. That's my thought. Where did you go? Glint beetle, come back. Oh, come back, my friend. I need you. You have the final treasure. There he is. Get him! Get him! There it is. Okay. Carry that back, everybody. Very good. Making good time here. Try not to make this episode be incredibly long. It's kind of tough when you do these cavern episodes just because of um, how much there is to do. So. Okay. The Crystal King. How are your crystals doing? Viewers, do you believe in crystals? Okay. Very good, very good. We can head out to floor number five. Okay, floor five, on tap, ready to go. Coming at you, live, all right, woo, ooh. It's a little scary, all right. Um, let's get our bearings here for a moment. Cannot see what I'm doing. Oh, nectar, yay! It's one of the things the game likes to do is sometimes they'll just, uh, you know, toss random crap at you and you're not ready for it. All right, so first things first, we have that purple, Purple Pikmin murdering enemy. I like how I sometimes just try to cover up for the goofy things I say by saying ridiculous crap. Okay, here we go. And we can kill its baby. Well done. It's murdering time. This is why I recommended bringing purples. Also, usually purples are good for boss killing as well, so if you're ever unsure of what to do, when in doubt, purple it out, that's for sure. Okay. Whoop. You don't have to do that, but it's just my recommendation that you do to speed up the process and the stun ability of purples will infinitely improve your odds of success. All right. I'm feeling very nervous. <laughs> I don't know what's in here. Once again, I have like a very like cursory memory was that dead? Oh, I thought it was I thought it was still alive. Oh no! Get away! Ooh. That was a little sneaky snake thing. Alright, well hold on, maybe we do this. So I don't lose all my Pikmin. Let's have everybody uh hang on here for a second. That was very rude. You get out of here. I don't know if it'll Yeah, there we go. Okay, well lesson learned. The game's trying to be a jerk. stop. Game's trying to be a jerk and murder my Pikmin. I think not. Let me at him. Let me at him. I don't know how many... Okay, I think there's just the one treasure here. That's a weird... Ooh. That looks like a plug for your bottom. You know what I'm saying? This music is pretty... I'm, I'm vibing with this so far. All right, so I will send Olimar back to the radar to pick up this, whatever this is. The anxious sprout, okay. Not sure what that is. Pretty clean and easy. Simple and clean is the way you're making me feel tonight, viewers. Okay, let's go ahead and gather up the full squad and nope. <laughs> Holy board, and head down. Okay, here we go. 
so far so good. We're gonna be careful here. I have a feeling the game is gonna try to toss more of those bomb rocks at us. So just be mindful of that. If you need red Pikmin, you got your candy pop buds. Hopefully there's gonna be, looks like that's a purple candy pop bud. The game is speaking my language. I don't know what it is. Just something very exciting about um, getting more purple Pikmin. So yeah, bring in a good horde of uh, reds. And get yourself more purples. Purples are, are always going to be, you know, just in general more useful. They can carry more, they're more powerful. The stun effect is unprecedented. These are unprecedented times, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Whoop. If my controller would work. It's one thing about using an older controller is that it uh, does not want to cooperate. So we will very carefully try to take out this fire spot without alerting the bulwark. Nope, run. I don't know if there's a way we can go around the outside here. I'm just really nervous about them trying to throw bomb rocks at me. Let's go ahead and kill this guy in one hit. Boop, got him. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> that purple Pikmin's just kind of like riding alongside him. He's like, I'm going to hang out with your corpse. No, we don't need to do that. All right. This feels like a prime opportunity for a bomb rock. What do you think, game? Huh? No, oh, these weird things. I don't think these hurt your Pikmin, but they're very strange. Oh, what? <laughs> I think they just make everybody feel a little gross. They're like, ew, there's bugs here. My Pikmin don't like bugs. Do you like bugs, viewers? No, I don't need to do this. Stop trying to carry them. I think that actually flowered up all of my Pikmin. All right, so... I'm gonna go and kill the, um... The Mama Orange Bulborg first. Seems like a solid plan. And then we can kill these guys. The fire. Nope. Fire speed rays. Nope, stop, stop. You're not doing any damages. Y'all can quit. Are you... What is... What, I'm missing two of my pick. Where are they? Probably the ones that try to carry the baby bulborbs back. No need. Okay, there's that. All right. So one last attempt to get this done. Actually, you know what? You can probably just use your reds in general to kill these guys. They should be able to take them out without getting eaten. And I think that killed the fire spout. Killed it. Knocked it out. Stopped it. I don't know. All right. Get the purples ready. Attack! There we go. There's something really cathartic about just having a ton of your purples coming and just absolutely crush something. Nope. Stop. Stop it. There's another pendant. I need to kill this guy real quick. Bye! Just instantly squish him. Give him the squishums. And thank you, game. I know that there's treasure right there. I can see it. Take out the fire spots. You don't always have to get rid of the obstacles, but, you know, it does help if you aren't sure which way to go. You don't want to send your Pikmin into danger. Uh, there's a red candy pop bud if you need more reds, which I don't know why you would, but if you do. Ooh, look at this. Okay, the Eternal Emerald Eye. Two kind of like badge brooch things, I guess. And this looks like another treasure, which we will, oh no. Get out of the way, Pikmin. Get away from that, get away from that, get away from that. Oh, you ding-dongs. I tried. They got stuck on the geometry of the skull. It's all right. We were afforded more purples than we probably deserve, to be honest. So, you know, it is what it is. I uh, hate losing purples, but we also gained quite a few today. So I'm not super upset about it. And of course, once again, if you need more, you can always go to the um, Purple Flower Garden in uh, the Valley of Repose. If you're into that, of course. All right, so we've got one more floor to go once we get this treasure. I do believe it's just a boss fight. So we'll do that. We have already cracked 60% of debt. Doing really well. Where is the exit? It's not this way. It's probably the other way. Here at Mike Industries, we pride ourselves on knowing that if it's not one way, it's probably the other. All right, there's the fire, fire jerks. There's the exit, yes. 
We've made it. All right, prepare yourselves for the final floor. Okay, viewers, floor number seven, the finale. I believe this is just the boss fight. So first things first, we're gonna clear out. I don't have as many reds as I used to. Oh, let's see, whoa. You can see something creepy up ahead, viewers. Underground. All right, so whistle your reds. And um, yeah, split up our squad. Should be able to just do this with purples. I'm gonna see a familiar enemy from a game we've never played yet, which I will probably play in the future. All right. So you see this creepy set of eyeballs? Viewers, huh? I wonder what this could be. Just hanging out. It's spooky. Well, we're gonna throw it at its eyeball. Oh my gosh, viewers, holy smokes. Okay, well, guys, nope. This is uh, Emperor Bullblacks. In opposite fashion of Empress Bullblacks. This is the king of the castle here. He's only weak on his eyeballs, I believe. Whoop. Don't want to meet your Pikmin, don't want to do that. No, don't need my purples. Oh, we got some purples. I kind of goofed on this one, that's all right. I lost a good amount, <laughs> lost a good amount of purples, but I also started with a lot too, so. Looks like we get a transformer. Some sort of object. I did not play that very well. Drenching this creature, ew. You don't want to get, oh, it's so much goo. Don't, don't roll your eyes at me. All right. So that wasn't the best played, uh, was not the best played floor, unfortunately. I didn't do the, the grace on this, but it's okay. I think we probably have the same amount of purples as when we started. And if you think about it, I only technically lost red Pikmin. So, two, now we had 22. So we lost three overall of the, uh, three overall purples, that's okay. But to get out of here, we also need to... Ooh, the game, not liking this. It's a key item though, the Forged Courage. Some slowdown is ahead. Fuse it with a spacesuit. The Scorch Guard, I think this prevents us from being caught on fire. Yeah, so there you go. Ooh, the game did not enjoy that. What have you done to me? All right. So this looks like the ending. Tear on that wall. Hopefully not lose a ton of my purple Pikmins. We even used the spicy spray and it didn't do what I needed it to. So that was my fault. I've never in recent history fought an Emperor Bull Black, so it's a hot minute. Since I've done that, but you know what? You live and you learn. Okay, um, I think that's it. Pretty good. Actually, I think there might be one extra treasure in here. Hold on. Whoop. I don't have any blue Pikmin, so I'm gonna have to see. Yes, there's one more treasure up there. So I just need red Pikmin. Help me clear out all this fire. I have to be careful here. I'm gonna need you guys to actually uh, get out of the heckin' way. Jeez. No, stop it. <laughs> stop it. No, no, stop. Oh my gosh. Why are you the way that you are? I just want red Pikmin. That's all I want for Christmas. All I want for Christmas is red Pikmin. It's too early for Christmas stuff. I got friends who work in some stores who are telling me they've already been putting out Christmas decorations. And that's an affront to humanity. All right, so just the reds. Clear a pathway for ourselves. Use some more of them here. I don't know how many I'm gonna need to carry this back, so I'm just gonna toss as many reds as I can up here. I don't have a ton left, actually, because I've been spending my reds. All right, and then we can use Louie. I think I should be able to just walk right up here. Past all the flaming buttholes. Yes. And... Oh look, it's uh, Animal Crossing. I only need 10. All right, can you guys take this away that's not gonna be really stupid and, and get you to fall into the water and die? 
I wasn't expecting there to be a post boss treasure, but here we are. Round up the rest of the crew here. It would be a really nasty surprise if the game was like, hey, how about some more bomb rocks right at the end? It would not surprise me in the slightest that they'd do that, though. All right, so we'll let you guys do this. Hurry. This episode is growing long. And we still have to recap the rest of the day. Let's go. This also looks like another plug for your bomb. Anyway, okay. I'm working so hard. A beautiful red Pikmin. The ones who did not become purples. Consider yourselves lucky. Okay. The gyroid bust. Has anybody ever played uh, Animal Crossing? I'm sure you have viewers. Gyroids were always a thing in all of them. Kind of weird little robots. Can't believe I lost 13 Pikmin. Eesh. Not the best, but that's okay. Occupational hazard. We've done it. Oh, enjoy that audio. That sounds great. And the speed up as we are accustomed to. That's a cave complete. All of the treasures complete. Not saving. No thank you. And back to the Awakening Wood. We've already finished the day. We've recovered 60% of the debt. And we are getting the heck out of here. We're going to Sunset. Viewers, we did it! Wonderfully done. Let's check out today's report. All of the things that you have seen that we got are the things that you saw that we got. So we <laughs> had a pretty good increase in everything except for reds. Technically we had a an overall growth of two purples. I don't know how that's possible, but okay. My death counts so far. I mean, you know, you win some, you lose some. But now another message. I wish they would mix this up, but it's just the president. Some wild animals are nesting under the bridge now. They think I'm their pal or something. My stylish suits are covered in hair. I'm pitiful, but at least they're warm. That's weird. No saving, no need. We're gonna continue, yes. So my friends, thank you for watching. That was day eight of Pikmin 2. If you enjoyed this series, if you could like the video, comment on it if you want, and subscribe with the bell for notifications. I've been D-Mike, this has been Pikmin 2, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.